Hi guys, this is just a quick demo on how to pass uh, properties between methods on Code Behind for your ASP.NET website. Here's a quick page that I'll put together where we're going to assign some text to a property in Code Behind and then we're going to show that text in our label in the Code Behind. Now, if you try to assign it the conventional way, which is assign your text to your property and then assign the text in the property to the label, the data won't persist and it won't work. Okay, so here's an example. We run the application, assign the text to the property, show text in the label, label's blank. Okay, so the way to do it is by using the page session. I'll put some code in here which I prepared earlier. Here's the session state. To get access to the web the session state, you need to put a using reference to system.web. This is um, very similar to the dictionary uh, that C Sharp uses, and you use a key and then your text. So you add your key, and this in this uh, example we use the text as our key, and then we've got our data which we're putting in there, which is text. And then in the um, show text in the label code, we've got our label text equals the session followed by the key, and then we've got to convert it to string. Okay, if we run this. Sign the text, put it into the session state, and then taking it from the session state, put it into our label, and you can see it works. Okay, so that's using system.web in your initial method, assign a key to the session state, followed by the parameter, and then in your method that's going to use that data, you extract the data as if it was a standard dictionary object. So you use your key to reference the uh, the data that you want to extract. Remember to convert to string if it's a string or convert to an integer or double or whatever, depending on what the uh, property type is. Okay, so as an example here, all of this will add an integer. clearly isn't a string and then the label integer that's our key okay now obviously the label is expecting uh, the label is expecting text so we've got to convert this to string So now we'll comment out that key and that key and then we'll run add the integer and then show it. There you go. Okay, hope you found it useful. Take care until next time. Bye bye.